leadership can be uh, quiet leadership, it could be um, loud, passionate leadership, but we all need to know self-care. A lot of the other things we've done, we've played games, we've gotten to know people, but now we've gotten a chance to kind of sit down and relax and just not worry about anything, and it was the nicest thing. To do a lot of stress management techniques, give them some, I think, tools for a lifetime you know, where they can learn some things about breathing, tension, release. We're going to actually do a relaxation and meditation during the session so that they can get a sense of what that flip side is. Breath is so, so important. If you find yourself like real agitated or anxious, I encourage you to sit like you are now. Put your hand or hands on your abdomen, close your eyes, and just take a few moments to breathe low and slow. You could change your mood. You could change your whole outlook by just taking a few minutes to do that. This session with Frank Delalo taught me how to basically let loose and just concern, be concerned about myself for the, for the time being, and just relax. And then when that's all done, everything will come together and I can continue on. Leadership isn't always about pushing and driving. It's about taking a breather and, and stepping back and uh, valuing the, the, the experience uh, and the moment and, uh, uh, and not losing sight of that. It's also about management and preparing yourself for that kind of stress and how you know you're going to cope with it afterwards. But leadership is all about relationships and connecting with people and getting to know people, you know, and uh, being kind and being compassionate and, uh, and caring uh, for each other and for self. You can't be an effective leader if you're always stressed out.